Hey there, so welcome back. Today, um, we're gonna take a look at creating our maps in Tiled, a program that I much prefer to use because we get these weird tearing issues with the um, standard Unity Tile Map Editor. There we go. I don't know if you guys could see that. Maybe the frames per second is too low for you to see it, but where we left off last time, we have uh, a camera system that follows our player. Um, our camera is bounded to where we tell it to be bounded in the world, so we're not seeing any weird stuff on the outside that we don't want to see. Um, but I just want to remake my maps a slightly different way here. So let's get on that. So I have tiled open here, and what we're going to do is choose to make a new map. I'm going to make mine 25 by 25. I don't want to make a giant map. I want to make instead a series of small maps and have them interlock with one another, which is more in line with what happens in A Link to the Past. Um, so, map size fixed, 25 by 25, and 16 by 16 pixels. Uh, orientation is orthogonal, and I want my render order to be left down, meaning it starts at the top left corner. So I'm going to choose Save As, and I'm going to call this Overworld Test. Okay, cool. Now, um, just a quick uh, rundown of what you see here. On the left you see your properties, on the right you see your layers, and uh, underneath that, terrains and tile sets. From here, what I want to do is create a new tile set. So I'm going to click on that, I'm going to call this uh, Overworld, for the Overworld. It's based on a tile set image, 16 by 16, zero margin, zero spacing. And I'm going to find where I have that saved. For me, I have it right here. And I'll click Save As. And I'm going to save this to, I'm just going to call it Overworld. Save. There we go. All right, cool. So here's my tile set. But if I go back to my map, my tile set's right here. Now, I'm just going to choose this grass. I'm going to do a flood fill and make everything be the grass. I'm going to try to remake that uh, image that I had over here. So. Uh, first, I'm going to have my first layer. I'm going to select that. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it Ground, just like I had it in Unity. And now... Oh, one second. Okay, so now I'm going to create my path through here. But I'm going to do it using a uh, terrain. And to create a terrain in Tiled, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Edit My Tile Set. And that'll open your tile set in a new tab. From here, uh, I'm going to choose the Terrain option on the toolbar. It's going to bring up the Terrain pane over here. I'm going to click plus to make a new one, and I'm going to call this Path. Now, I need to define what the rules of this terrain are. So, since I can't scroll to zoom in, if you press down Control or Command and scroll, you can zoom in. Now, first I'm going to assign the inside. So, I'm going to grab the center. I'm going to pull all the way around like this so that I have that filled in blue portion and then I have this uh, on the outside. Then I'm going to find the outside tiles and I, instead of starting in the center I'm going to start on the outside and go uh, around like that. So there I've got my terrain created. If I go back to my overworld here I can switch from tile sets to terrains and I'll choose path. And so my path I'm just going to have go like this from one side to the other and then I'll have it go up just like I did in the other one um, and I have just a little bit of jaggediness there alright cool so there's my ground now I'm going to create another new layer uh, this layer however Oh, no, no, sorry. I'm going to create another tile layer. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to call this one um, collisions, but I'm not going to add the collisions to them just yet. I'll show you how I'm going to do the collisions in just a second. So, uh, same thing. I'm going to go to my tile sets. Um, let's add our house like we did last time. Let's put it right there. Um, and since this layer is on top of the other, it renders on top of the other, you can move your layers around to have things render where you want them to. Let's grab a little doghouse, because who doesn't love a doghouse? Let's put that right there. Um, 
Let's go over and grab some of these here. No, I don't want that to be collidable. Um, I'm probably going to fast forward through the rest of this. So I'll meet you back here in just a second. All right, cool. So I've got my level set up pretty similar to what it was in my other version. I don't have quite as many decorations, but that's okay. So to add the collision here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. This is going to be an object layer. And I'm going to call this object layer, uh, we'll call it collision mask. Now for this, I can choose any of these objects up here and use them to make collision markers. So if I choose that square there, I can just use it to draw on square collisions. Now they don't have to be squares or uh, ellipses. You can use the line tool as well. And I'll use the line tool in a second when I get to the house. So for now, I'm just drawing in these collisions. So there we go. There we go. And it's just collision there, collision there, collision there, collision here. I'm not being super careful about this, I know. Um, you don't have to be. Your user probably won't notice, but if you want to be, by all means, be. So I'm going to grab this uh, line. Oh, sorry, it's this one. And I'm going to draw around... This time I'm going to draw around the door, which I didn't do last time for specific reasons. Not specific reasons I didn't do it last time, but specific reasons I'm doing it this time. So, just drawing around here. And then when you're done, hit enter, and it finalizes it. So if I zoom back out, I can easily see where all my collisions are. Now, um, the next step here is that I want to uh, save this. So I'm going to go to File, Save. And then I also want to export the tile set. So export as so that I can use it in something else. Let's do Tile, Tile Set Files, Save. So now I can use this tile set again if I want to. Uh, okay, cool. Now, we're done with Tiled for the moment. Let's open the other program I asked you guys to download, which is Tiled to Unity. So, Tiled to Unity. Oh, good lord. I have to open it for applications because this is the first time I've opened it. Alright, so we'll open that up. Open. Alright, cool. Now I'm going to set my pixels per unit to 16. Um, I don't want to use the depth buffer or buffer convex. Yeah, I think they're convex. Okay. And then the next thing I need to do here is I need to import it into my project. So for that, I chose um, help, and then import into my Unity project. And then in Unity, this comes up. I'll choose import. It's going to create a new folder for Tiled to Unity. Um, and so that's just going to take a second. All right. And now I want to find out what I'm uh, opening. So I'm going to navigate to where I saved my map which for me was in my documents, sprites, tiled maps. Oh. oh, that's where I do it. Open tiled file. Good lord. And I want to open overworld test. All right, cool. And now I want to export it. So I'm going to choose export to. And now I need to navigate to where my project is. So my Unity projects and YouTube Zelda like and assets and tile to Unity and tile to Unity export.txt. It just essentially gives it a, um, a target. 
And so now I want to preview my map just to make sure it's what I want it to be. I can see all my collisions on there. And press the... Oops. Oh, did it already export? Holy cow, that was fast. The big ass export button. Now if I go back into Unity here, it's going to import the assets. I'm going to turn off my grid really quickly here. I'm going to go to Tile to Unity. Uh, select my prefabs, my overworld test. Drag that into my world. Holy cow, it's gigantic. Um, what happened was, is it's treating uh, every pixel as if it's a Unity unit, even though I thought I set that correctly. So I'm going to set my scale to be 0 0.0625 by 0 0.0625. If you didn't know, 0 0.0625 is 1 16th as a decimal. And there's my player right there. And I'm going to put my camera on him. And I would need to reset my min and max values, but I just want to test to make sure everything works the way it should. So let's hit play. Uh, okay, so moving around, my min values and max values, of course, are off. I can move around now, though, and I'm colliding with everything just fine. And this looks significantly better, I think, than the um, the Unity tile map version does. So, yeah, I'm going to be using tile for the rest of my maps. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the description down below. Um, otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post new videos. You can join my Discord, where I'm chatting pretty much every day. And, yeah. Next time, we're going to talk about room transitions. So, transitioning between one room to the other. We're going to be doing that probably in two or three steps as well. We're going to be doing the transition itself first. Um, and then we're going to be doing the camera part. So, I guess two steps should, should do it just fine. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Have yourselves a wonderful day.